In lesson two, we look at the expectation. Look at the expectation of a function of a random variable. So the expectation of g of x. Um, if, that, if x is a discrete random variable, then g of x will also be a discrete random variable. And we can work out the expectation of any g of x, any function of x, by using the formula the sum of g of x multiplied by the probability. It's the same idea that we used when we worked out the expectation of x squared. If you remember the expectation of x squared, we've worked out we squared the x values to work out x squared and then multiplied them by the probabilities. And that can be generalised to any function g of x. Uh, a few special cases uh, where we've got useful shortcut formulas. If we want to work out the expected value of linear function ax plus b, then we can just multiply our expected value of x by a and add b. If we want to work out the expected value of the addition of two independent random variables, x plus y, so we want to work out the expectation of x plus y, then that can be found by doing the expectation of x plus the expectation of y. And in the case of the variance, if we want to work out the variance of a linear function of our random variable, the variance of ax plus b, then that can be found as a squared times the variance of x. Okay, So in these instances there would be no need to produce uh, or work out the individual values of uh, the function of x. We can just adapt our expected value of x and our variance of x using those formulas. Looking at example 1 then, example 1 gives us A situation where the probability, the discrete random variable, is defined in terms um, of um, the formula in terms of a probability density function. First of all, we can translate that information into our um, normal format probability distribution table from which we can use the fact that the probabilities add up to 1 to enable us to work out what c is equal to. So c comes out to be equal to a sixth. Having worked out what c is equal to, we can get the expected value of x in the usual way. We can get the expected value of x squared in the usual way, square each x value and multiply by your probabilities. Now, when it comes to the expected value of the square root of x, so we can adapt our idea of the, we can work out the expected value of any function of x by doing that function of x times the probability. So the square root of one is one. The square root of two is root two. The square root of root three, uh, sorry, square root of three is root three. So we can work out the value of the function and then multiply it by the probability. This gives us in exact form 1 sixth plus root 2 over 3 plus root 3 over 2 or as a decimal rounded to 3 sixths 